Landfill found this thing. This is from The Athletic, and they talked about what teams are the most optimistic <laughs> about their organizations. They must not come talk to the people here. <laughs> or Jeff. Yeah, um, they talked to Jeff. We'll be number one. Honestly, though, I think you'd be a little surprised. So the most optimistic fan base is the Eagles. I think that's fair because the Eagles have a loaded roster. They add Saquon. Um, you add – Vic Fangio to revamp that defense, although usually that takes a little longer. Um, you've got Howie Roseman. They just traded for Jahan Dotson. Um, the, it, it's an interesting concept. They say Eagles are at 90. Lampville, help me understand the optim, the optimism meter here. Um, because it, obviously the there's a lot to kind of – like you – probably be more optimistic as a Washington fan right now than you would be as like a giant fan. I would almost, maybe not as an Eagle fan, because they're a legit, mm -hmm. um, they're the Eagles are obviously a legit contender. But what, which one are you looking at? Cause the one I saw had the, had the Detroit Lions as the number one, most optimistic. Sure. That's the, that's across the league. I was looking at the NFC East. Oh, okay. so you got line the most. So apparently the athletic did a survey of 12,000 fans. Well, a thousand. And then I guess you're allowed to, like, leave some comments or whatever. Um, Lions fans, 98% optimistic. Chiefs fans, 98.7. Um, Bears, get Caleb Williams, number one overall. So let's let's drop this down to the Eagles fans are 90.6% optimistic. Mm -hmm. Commanders, almost in the middle of this thing, 78% optimistic. Yep. Um. I just want to go around the room. How optimistic are you feeling? I'm optimistic for what I'm expecting. See, that's a, that's a difference. The question is, are you, what are you asking people? Right. Do you think the team is going to make it to the playoffs? Do you think the team is going to be great? They're going to win 10 games? Or do you think the team is going to improve? You believe they're in a better situation right now? I'm optimistic about that. I'm not. I'm, I'm, talking, I'm optimistic about the last two things I said, not the first two things. Right. And I don't expect those first two things. I uh, I think optimism correlates to expectations as it relates to this season, mm -hmm. right? Like, the, what happens in 2024? What's the final record? All of that. I think you got to be measured. But I think as far as, like, being optimistic about the organization as a whole, mm -hmm. this is a different time than really my lifetime because – I mean, Snyder bought the team. I was in high school, and like, as much as I remember, you know, Joe Gibbs. I remember the '91 Super Bowl. He retired after the '93 season, right? The '92 season. '92 season. Yeah, like at, at, everything changed so dramatically, and I think on like a, a super macro viewpoint, there's there's never been more reason for optimism in 25 years. Um, what does that mean this year? I don't know, but then. You can zoom all the way in to the micro viewpoint, and I think Jaden Daniels could be a hell of a player. Yeah, and so it's like you you have reason for optimism, like on the whole tent pole, regardless of how high up you want to view it. Lamfeld always an optimist. <laughs> um, how optimistic do you feel about this team? Um, actually, uh, pretty good. I mean, I think for the first time in uh, a long time, they really have. Uh, there's a possibility that maybe they've actually found the answer at quarterback. And obviously, like you were saying, that uh, ownership disaster uh, appears to have been righted as well. They seem to have, you know, maybe for the first time in 20 years, a general manager who's uh, not the lackey of the owner or the lackey of the head coach. So, uh, yeah, I mean, just generally things seem to be going in the right direction. I, I feel pretty I feel pretty optimistic. Yeah. Yeah. Landville's feeling optimistic. Oh, let me look outside, see if it's about to start raining. Landfill's if Landville's optimism. feeling optimistic, how the hell is Jeff going to feel? Hello, Jeffrey. What's your optimism meter? I ain't going to lie. My <laughs> optimism. You, you can hear me smiling behind the mic right now. Oh, but, Lord. But, but I can't say it's a realistic optimism. You know, All right. All most right. of us, we because we haven't seen so much success, the little slight of it, most of us tend to go on and be like, "Oh yeah, we going to the Super Bowl this year." Nah, I'm 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 
confident that we're going to see a good product on the field. You know, even if it's five wins, six wins, seven wins, it's showing progress, you know, and, and that's all the people want to see. We want to see the progress towards going back to our glory, not going back to our glory days, going to our new glory days. So I'm, I'm really go, optimistic. Yeah. Um, I don't know that we have time to open the phones and landfill. You can just tell me either way on that, but I, I, I do think it's interesting to let a few people call in 800-636-1067 and tell us how their optimistic meter is. Compare this to, in this athletic story, the Cowboys 19.9% optimism. Um, and it says... They don't believe in their owner. Well, uh, probably plenty of that. I know I have a buddy. My buddy Wacker is from Dallas, Cowboy fan, and he it, they can't stand Jerry. It's not even not believe in. It's, it's, they think it's a disaster. But you've got Dak in the contract here. Parsons wants a deal, but they're going to have to pay him next year. Like, are you really going to draft Shadur Sanders? Like, Dak doesn't win in the playoffs. <laughs> I'm, I'm aware of that. But he's pretty damn good. Like, yeah. it's, it's easy to knock him. Giants fans. I mean, how optimistic could a Giants fan be right now? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I think because of hard knocks, they said the quiet part out loud. Like, we got to see how little they believe in Daniel Jones. Yeah, we saw that. Like, we know it. We knew it, but now we know it. We know it, know it. Daniel Jones is making 40 million bucks. And and you're hoping to find a quarterback next year. Right? It's amazing like, when 40 million bucks is a below average quarterback. Right? <laughs> and I think the Giants have a really good D-line. Um, I, I honestly think the Giants will could win week one going up against Sam Darnold. Everybody's convinced the Vikings are going to roll. Um, but, I mean, you tell me, B, in, of, for the Giants, who has the most – rank the job security of the following three men. Okay. Joe Shane, Brian Dable, Daniel Jones. Most? You mean the most – Who who's, who's number one to be gone? No. Who's the most secure? Dable. Who's number two? I'll probably go with uh, Daniel. Then Shane? Then Shane. I think Shane is the number one to go. And I think he. the thing about it is if, if uh, Daniel Jones completely looks crazy, they're probably going to get rid of Shane anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? So everything rides on – everything rides on – like – Anybody that play does anything wrong, it goes to Shane because he he don't want to hire everybody, and he better hope that the Eagles and Saquon don't, and Saquon don't have a good year because his co his uh, owner already told him I'm not gonna have a good day, which means you probably won't have a good day. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I found it odd that like all of a sudden at, during the Hard Knocks run, like every Giants beat reporter that I follow all seem to post like. People got the wrong idea. Dable and Shane have plenty of job security. Like, th their seat isn't hot. Like, I noticed, like, Pat put that out. Jordan Renan put that out. Um, Connor Hughes. Like, all these guys I know that follow them. Typically, when something like that happens, when every reporter gets the same sort of sourced information, and I'm pulling up the curtain here a little bit, folks, it's because somebody, like, provides that information. Well, right? I have this question. If you're not winning games in the NFL and your seat's not hot, then something's wrong. So I don't I don't buy what either one of them are reporters wrote because if they're not winning, and if you're not winning, your seat is getting warm. Totally. Point blank. Totally. Um, I don't know. Folks, I bet are pretty damn optimistic, man. <laughs> this is a funny line from the stream. BJL nineteen oh six said Jeff is already planning his sick day for the parade, the Super Bowl parade. I uh, I imagine. Um. <laughs> I, I don't think, think Jeff's going that far. Jeff is smarter than that. I think. Jeff, are you smarter than that? Now, um, if we just Jeff, come out I'm, and some I'm taking up for you, Jeff. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, but if if by chance we do come out and some way we win 14 or 15 games, I will streak Pennsylvania Avenue with my body painted in burgundy and gold. If you oh, wow. win four, if we win four, what stretch of Pennsylvania Avenue? Not like down by Andrews Air Force Base. If it's fourteen, the entire games, stretch, the whole damn show gonna be streaking. All right, 
if they win 14 games, Jeff and B. Mitchell Stricken? I say the whole show. I put Landfield in here, you in here. 14 games? <laughs> they went 14, 15 games. Yeah, we better all be streaking. The whole city better be damn streaking. I was about to say, I might grow my head back for a week. <laughs> no, I don't think you got some spot where it don't grow no more, Jeff. <laughs> if they if they win 14 <laughs> games this year, we're all going streaking. That's the deal? Mm-hmm. Landfill? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> that means Lampel don't believe me with the 14 yeah, That means Lampel's quite mean, comfortable. I'm optimistic, but there's zero chance they win 14 <laughs> games. Come on. That's why I put that bet out. That's why I put that out there. <laughs> yeah, if they yeah, win I 14 mean, games, I'm totally streaking. <laughs> God, please make them win 14 games. I mean, 14 <laughs> is. I, I, mean, I know we have certain prayers I pray for. I'm praying for that. We need 14, 15 games, Lampel. Nobody in the NFL won more than 13 last year. I think, hey, we won. Four, we're okay. This team has won fourteen before with sixteen games. That was a while back. That's a while back. That was a while just back. Saying, just saying. 